and this is the first of many uh, videos that I'll be making of my life here on a on a farm, a homestead, and and beekeeping particularly. Uh, I feel like I've throughout the years, twenty something years of experience in beekeeping, uh, I feel like I have a little bit to to donate to people for education purposes and to learn about you know, beekeeping myself. There's always something to learn. So come on with me and let's enjoy the journey and maybe we can learn and save the bees. Okay, so we are currently in uh, apiary number three. Uh, I have four. Um, I don't have that many uh, colonies in, the, uh, in these apiaries. Probably, well, and this one is one, two, three, four, five. I don't like them so concentrated and I have enough land so I can keep them separate. But anyway, um, this colony here, let me tell you a little bit about this one. Um, this, if you can see, let me see if I can get down here. This colony has a queen excluder right here, a plastic one. So this colony, this tin frame right here was uh, extremely strong. And uh, this tin framer came from a nuke that um, only had about three frames. And I didn't think it was going to make it through the winter. It had three frames of, uh, of brood. And it was really weak. Uh, it wasn't many bees. And I, was, I knew for sure it wasn't going to make it. So what I did is I put newspaper, put the queen excluder, put the three frames one two three four actually there was five frames but only three were and then i put uh drawn comb on the outsides this was about this was uh, in december about in the middle part of december so we're going to open this one up and i want you to see what um the results of it. Today is uh, February the 23rd. So I have these um, bubble wrap uh, inner covers. I just started using them. I really like them. Um, sometimes they have a little moisture problem, but for the most part, it works pretty good. Sometimes I have moisture, like that captured, that uh, gets up here in these areas and over here. So I have a, uh, a brick, sugar brick, inside here. And looks like they're okay. This sugar brick has been in here a long time and they're working on it, but they don't seem to have uh, taken it down very much. Um, this is a um, uh, feeding rim, and I put um, the patty inside there. Um, just gives it space so it's not smashed down. Um, I want to take a look, see what's going on this is most likely a honey frame let me see let me pull this one first yeah this is a honey frame uh it's heavy yeah that's just got lots of honey on it looks great so we'll just sit that right here there I just want to uh, look at the brood, see what stages they're at. Pull this one out. This is a little lighter, so they're gonna be brood. Well, not much brood. It's just capped honey again. That looks great right there. Look at that. That's actually not honey. That is syrup. I've been feeding them, so that looks great. Just set that one right there. And I'm actually contemplating splitting this one tomorrow. 
I want to see if there's any queen cell cups or anything like that going on. Uh, we got capped brood. Um, we have larva at different stages. Um, that looks great. We're going to have more bees emerging. And less than 20 days at least. Probably in a week they might emerge. I'm not sure. Um, let's pull this one out. We have drone brood. Lots of drone brood down there. I don't see any queen cells or queen cups. Uh, this particular hive at the top, I did not mark her. Uh, this was a queen that I um, raised in October and I was afraid that she wasn't going to be mated very well. But there's a lot of drone brood in there. Um, I don't know if that's a clue on a queen that's not mated well. Um, it might be just because I've got some bad comb. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of drone comb in there. So let's pull this one up. Haven't been really looking for the queen. I know she's in here. Um, that looks good. Yep. That looks good right there. They were packing the top of this uh, pretty tight the other day. Um, I'm a little surprised I don't see as many more as many more bees than I do. Let me just pull this one out. If you can see down in there, you see the plastic queen excluder. There's actually a queen um, down in the bottom chamber as well. Okay. Looks like to me that um, we've had about half the bees emerge. Um, it's a little chilly out. Um, so a few of these bees are dispersing. I would really like to split this hive. I'd, we're going to get some warm weather here shortly. Even though I don't see any sign of these guys wanting to swarm, uh, I really don't like to see so many bees in here in, uh, in a double colony like this. It's, uh, but I want them to stay warm too. So it's, uh, it's a fine, if anybody sees the queen, just, uh, there's some young bees just emerged. This guy right here, this is a little young one here. Um, Feeders this as a liquid. There's a lot of storage there, yeah, I like to see that. Yeah, they're, they're not lacking on, uh, you know, food supplies, the carbohydrates. Do not see any signs of swarming. Um, and here's a little, I, I try to put foundation in here to discourage uh swarming to give them something to do and they've been drawing this out can you believe this they're drawing this comb out and it's february can you believe that <laughs> it's crazy and they're drawing it because of the artificial the artificial uh honey flow they think it's a honey flow but it's actually uh, a syrup flow but they're pulling that out really nice I like to see that. That's good. All right, so we'll put this back up. Um, so, just to recap, there were three frames right here that was brewed uh, back in December. So what this did is the strength of the 10 framer down here and all the bees, they merged together two queens. One queen here, one queen there. 
the bees merged together, accepted the bo both of the queens, and work with both queens. It's amazing. Um, I'm still amazed that uh, you know they didn't, the you know it didn't trigger something crazy and they, they kill each other. So I'm really glad it worked. This is the first year I've tried this, and uh, I am so happy with it because that opens up a lot of uh, you know different avenues you know for me in the future. Um, but anyway, three frames of brood, and now we have, I don't know, we've got, there's this, well, there's, there's more brood. Uh, I think there's like one, two, three, four, four frames, because uh, these are honey frames. Anyway, lots of bees. Uh, really happy. Let me uh, see if I can put this back together like that. Slide that back over there. Kill any bees. Okay. I'm gonna get this this honey frame down here. Slide this one back in. I normally give them a little uh, supplement, but I'm gonna be uh, split this one, so I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'll probably probably start uh, feed them supplement. They don't need any uh, syrup, so I'll probably feed some supplement once I get them split and give them a couple days. little cool out here probably like 55 maybe but um happy not seeing too many signs of uh illness or because you can't see the very oh my uh, you have to do a a little a test uh a mic wash to find out what levels you can pretty much assure that uh they they are in there uh but in the spring and summer is when the mites, you know, start accumulating. They start building up even more. And then I have three other colonies over here. And here's my spray field. Okay, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.